I'm Nick White, co-founder of Chicago Beer Geeks, and um, this is one of our new series that we're going to start. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do profiles. We're going to do profiles of each member of Chicago Beer Geeks, talk about who they are, talk about some of the things they like. Uh, right now, we are here in Dream Warrior Brewing with the Brewmaster. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell the people who you are. Hey, guys. I'm Yellowbird, part of the website, uh, also known as Armando, uh, contributor to the site, also home brewer, and... Uh, liquor store clerk by trade. Yeah. Uh, we're here with Yellowbird. Uh, Armando does a really cool uh, section on the website, uh, Yellowbird's Corner. Uh, Yellow, Yellowbird's Corner goes super local, talks about beers in a way that uh, we don't usually on the website. So um, glad to be here, man. How are you? I'm awesome. Glad to have you here. I see you cracked open the, uh, the Bourbon County Coffee Stout. You guys are here. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Dan is behind the camera, by the way, so a shout out to our cameraman, Dan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just go fucking outcast on us? Jesus Christ. I can't help it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, founder of Chicago Beer Geese is uh, on the camera. So, and uh, here we are, man. Let's, let's get right into it. Yep. So, tell me, man, um, how did you get in Chicago Beer Geeks? Uh, followed you guys for a bit when you were starting, looked at all your posts, missed out on a bunch of tastings. And then uh, you guys were talking about getting traffic and needing help, so I uh, shot an email, said, hey, what's up? I'm interested. You told me to fill out this little survey you had. Filled it out. You're like, all right, cool. We're interested. Uh, that was around the time the 2011 Big Hugs was coming out from Head Faker. So you told me, uh, all right, go to that event, write it up, and uh, there'll be a mock write-up, and we'll see how it is. And then you guys posted it and said, welcome aboard. Yeah, I remember that, man. It was it was a really crazy time for us because this was, I believe, this was right after we got nominated for uh, uh, for the uh, best blog in Chicago, CBS Channel Two. Dan can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but yeah, we were uh, we were excited. We started running our numbers. We couldn't believe it, and we're like, do we really need some help? And then when we saw what you were doing, and you sent that profile in. We got we got really excited, man. So you have an interesting uh, view, and that's why I really like Yellow Burst Corner. Because you're really the only person on the website that's in the industry full time. Talk a, bit, a little bit about what it's like to be uh, at Warehouse Liquors. Yeah, so I work at Warehouse Liquors, South Loop, uh, 634 South Wabash. <laughs> um, basically, started off there part time. Just wanted to get my foot in the door in the industry. Uh, Learn a little bit about the trade, how beer buying works, how to work with distributors, the goods and the bad sides of all that, like trying to get off bad products. New products coming out, how do you learn about that? How do you order? You have to order so many cases to get a good deal. It's just so much stuff. So my time there, I've been learning a lot, especially about the beer world, and also my eyes have been open to the whiskey and wine world, so I'm trying to learn a lot there too. Uh, just very interesting. Whole different take of what I was accustomed to, just walk into a store and buying stuff. There's a whole other side. Yeah. What was the last beer that came to your store that you really got excited about? Like you're like, oh shit, I'm probably not gonna sell a whole lot of these. They're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get stuff like that all the time, but can't really afford to take as much. The most recent crazy thing we got was Mango Magnifico from Founders, but mm -hmm. we're only allocated one case, so maybe one bottle goes to me. I don't know. Uh, I try to get excited. I also try not to, because if I get too excited, I'm gonna. Be putting a hurt in my wallet. Yeah, I hear that, man. Uh, craft beer is uh, is pretty pricey. Yeah. Um, but you know, you get what you pay for. Right? Exactly. Uh, I just on a side note, man. I remember the only bottle of uh, bolt cutter that I had from Founders, you sold to me. I had a delay on a train. Yep. I walk into the store and Yellowbird's like, "Oh, you want to buy this?" I was outside cleaning <laughs> windows. Nick walks in. I'm like, "Walk in, hey dude. A little price. You want a bolt cutter though?" You're like, "Yeah, man." <laughs> I was having to the lot. back. Got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a long day, man. That really came in handy. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. My coworkers are like, who was that guy? I don't think I've ever seen him before. I'm like, oh, yeah, he comes in once in a while. He's a fellow Chicago beer geek. They're like, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's really good. It's Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I knew Yellowbird that day, man, so that, that was really cool. Um, what are some of the places you like to hang out when you're not at the store? Uh, one of my favorite places, also probably my favorite brewery, is at the Hat Baker Tap Room. Great place, all these great beer on draft, cool dudes in there, just fun to chill there. Awesome decor, wood. Also, I live super close to the Rev Tap Room, wish it was open every day, but get what you can get, and that place is pretty solid too. Yeah, right on, man. Yeah, you know, so we're here at Dream Warrior Brewing. Uh, it's really cool, you've got like a serious nerd room next door. 
Uh, we just filmed an episode of Yellow Bird's Corner for the first time ever. That was fun. I'm really excited about that. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. I hope we get a. I hope we get a, a edit reel, a blooper reel. Yeah, for, for the people, man. It's gonna be a pretty. <laughs> Pretty weird blooper reel. <laughs> it's very raw. It's a very raw situation, man. Chicago Beer Geeks is, uh, is two years old. Uh, this is our first. Uh, f- this is our first adventure into producing our own videos. Mm-hmm. You know, I know for uh, we've done over 170 stories on the website. You know, we're always telling people where to go party, and we'll always continue to do that. But you know, becoming the party, like our epic uh, bottom lounge adventure, yeah. or you know, uh, or producing videos like this is something in the direction we want to go in. So I'm pretty excited about that. But tell us about uh, the types of beers you like to brew here at, uh, at, at Dream Warrior Brewing, and what's the concept behind it, man? Where are you trying to Where are you trying to take Dream Warrior Brewing? Well, uh, if you don't know off the bat, Dream Warrior is a reference to Not Realm Street Three. Dream Warriors. I'm a huge Freddy obsessive. Uh, probably introduced to the first movie around the age of four. Had terrible nightmares for years, and then started to fall in love and just got hooked and been collecting stuff for years. So, Dream Warrior Brewing is a take on that. So it's basically a horror-esque view on it. Every one of my homebrews has a name referencing something from a movie, whether it be one of Freddy's one-liners or just something within the movie. So the, yeah, we had two beers today, right? We had the uh, the first one was uh, was a sour. The second one was a wit. Yeah. Right. The first one was fourteen twenty-eight, which is reference to the address of uh, started off as Nancy Thompson's house in the series fourteen twenty-eight Elm Street, and went on to become like the house in the dreams. And then the other one, Dream and Drive, is one of Freddy's one-liners to his victim in the fifth movie, where he says, hey, Danny, better not dream and drive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, total nerding out in that way, whether it be the names and try to make labels once in a while, too. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to stay with you too long, man. I know you're getting married to Christina, man. Congratulations. Yeah, You've you got a lot going on. Um, we just want We just want to make some simple... Uh, three to five minute videos, maybe a little bit longer, give people a chance to see who we are, uh, have a conversation about our profiles and what we do on the website. So this is our first one, and um, I'm glad we did it here, man. This was pretty cool. So Very nice nerding out with you guys. Absolutely, man. Or geeking out, as Heck I should yeah. say. That banner is badass. Yeah, dude. Right on, man. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>